A Course in Miracles, page 388. I need do nothing. You still have too much faith in the body as a source of strength. What plans do you make that do not involve its comfort or protection or enjoyment in some way? This makes the body an end, not a means in your interpretation. And this always means you still find sin attractive. No one accepts atonement for himself who still accepts sin as his goal. You have thus not met your one responsibility. Atonement is not welcomed by those who prefer pain and destruction. There is one thing that you have never done. You have not utterly forgotten the body. It has perhaps faded at times from your sight, but it has not yet completely disappeared. You are not asked to let this happen for more than an instant, yet it is an instant that the miracle of atonement happens. Afterwards, you will see a body again, but never quite the same, and every instant that you spend without awareness of it gives you a different view of it when you return. At no single instant does the body exist at all. It is always remembered or anticipated, but never experienced just now. Only its past and future make it seem real. Time controls it entirely, for sin is never wholly in the present. In any single instant, the attraction of guilt would be experienced as pain and nothing else, and would therefore be avoided. It has no attraction now. Its whole attraction is imaginary, and therefore must be thought of in the past or in the future. It is impossible to accept the holy instant without reservation, unless, just for an instant, you are willing to see no past or future. You prepare for it without placing it in the future. Releasing release is given you the instant that you desire it. Many have spent a lifetime in preparation and have indeed achieved their instant of success. This course does not attempt to teach more than they learned in time but it does aim at saving time. You may be attempted to follow a very long road to the goal which you have accepted. It is extremely difficult to reach atonement by fighting against sin. Enormous efforts is expended in the attempt to make holy what is hated and despised. Nor is a lifetime of contemplation and long periods of meditation aimed at detachment from the body necessary. All such attempts will ultimately succeed because of their purpose. Yet the means are tedious and very time consuming for all of them to look to the future for release from a state of presence, present unworthiness and inadequacy. Your way will be different, not in purpose, but in its means. A holy relationship is a means of saving time. One instant spent together with your brother restores the universe to both of you. You are prepared now. Now you need but remember that you need to do nothing. It would be far more profitable now merely to con concentrate on this rather than con consider what you should do. When peace comes at last to those who wrestle with temptation and would fight against 
the giving in to sin. When the light comes at last into the mind given to contemplation, or when the goal is finally achieved by anyone, it always comes with one just with just one happy realization. I need do nothing. Here is the ultimate release, which everyone one day finds in his or her own way, in their own time. You do not need this time. Time has been saved for you, because you and your brother are together. This is a special means. This, this is the special means this course is using to save you time. You are not making use of the course if you insist on using means which have served others well, neglecting what was made for you. Save time for me by only this one preparation and practice doing nothing else. I need do nothing is a statement of alliance a true, undivided loyalty. Believe it for just one instant, and you will accomplish more than is given to a century of contemplation or a struggle against temptation. To do anything involves the body, and if you recognize that you need do nothing, you have withdrawn the body's value from your mind. Here is the quick and open door through which you slip past centuries of effort and will escape from time. This is the way in which sin loses all attraction right now, for here is time denied, the past and future gone. Who needs do nothing has no need for time. To do nothing is to rest and make a place within where the activity of the body ceases to demand attention. Into this place the Holy Spirit comes and there abides. He will remain when you forget and the body's activities return to occupy your conscious mind. Yet there will always be this place of rest to which you can return, and you will be more aware of this quiet center of the storm than all of its raging activity. This quiet center, which you do nothing, will remain with you, giving you rest in the midst of your ever busy doing, which you are sent. For from this center, you will be directed how to use the body sinlessly. It is the center from which the body is absent that will keep it so in your awareness of it.